here we're starting the month of January with partnerships and alliances and I am uh, told to hold the cards so you can get any additional uh, messages psychically through them. So this is representing the three of ones in the traditional tarot deck. Okay, so uh, the feeling I have from this card is some of you are waiting for something to come into fruition, something to come from um, abroad to you or you're waiting to sign contracts or to sign or to to perhaps even like a seal deals in with i know i don't know any specific situation could be business career relationship engagement anything but know that now you are actually seeing the fruits of uh the labor you have put into um something and you are going to see the seed blossoming through that there is beautiful uh, partnership here happening and i hear here um, believe in miracles because um, yeah keep an open mind as well you have beautiful things that could come to you from unexpected um, yeah from unexpected people or unexpected ways so yes i it's a very positive card for me here beautiful things that are going to happen for you in the month of january just keep your eyes open okay um for some of you i see here it could be also um meeting a soulmate or meeting a friend like also yeah it could be a friendship or like a soulmate in a relationship or a friendship could be really meeting somebody that you can rely on someone that you can trust i see a beautiful exchange and very honest and pure pure beautiful bond that you are going to have with someone in the month of february you have destiny and destiny represents the wheel of fortune it is a major arcana you hear you have plenty of them you have one two three four five six seven my god seven cards out of 12 so a, a very intense year and as i see it is a very positive one for you so uh, beautiful look at this this is the wheel of fortune it's actually an end of a cycle in you uh, and the beginning of a new one and it is going to be the end of something that perhaps one uh, once was uh, not good for you but i see this wheel of fortune is turning into your favor as you see the golden light here beneath the hand of the of or beneath this um woman it's actually lighting you up from the inside something very very positive is going to come your way and it is going to show you the path. So perhaps this uh, partnership or alliance is going to open new doors for you. And I'm told that, yes, expect the unexpected. And it's the second or third time I'm listening to them, I'm hearing that. So yes, please uh, keep an open mind. In the month of March, you have triumph. So whatever you're going through, whatever um, partnership or alliances you are going to have or people you are going to meet, and Whatever this Wheel of Fortune is going to offer you, it is very positive. I see forward movement, fast forward movement towards something very fruitful, very beneficial for you, towards success. Okay, so I'm told, yes, success. I'm hearing that. So Scorpio, that's beautiful. Go for it. Whatever it is that is presented to you in the month of January, February, March, just go for it. Okay, but I will have to give you an advice here I'm gonna tell you why okay let me see here the energy that represents the three months is the two of cups in the traditional tarot beautiful and it's friendliness as I said some of you are going to meet someone could be a soulmate and this is a card of the soulmate as well but what I I pick up here from the cards beautiful energies here you can see the mixture between the yellow and the pink and it makes orange so this orange fiery bond that you are going to have whether in business 
partnership in business or relationship or friendship this is going to be extremely extremely positive for you yes i hear success taking you up to the next level so amazing very happy for you scorpio my advice to you don't let this triumph okay and this um actually forward movement disturb your base chakra okay um if this card is drawn it means that there is a need to balance your base chakra in the month of april okay just again be grounded do not go outside of balance because you may you may lose you know um your path or you may uh, lose the um, direction of uh, the path you're going through again rebalance yourself realign and be grounded it feels like here you need to connect with your base chakra you need to ground yourself and for some of you you need to just go into nature and just be barefoot whether uh, in on the sand or on the uh, on the beach or on the sand like just get yourself connected with mother earth otherwise i feel like you are going to be deviating and you cannot lose balance because if you do and again that's beautiful because we are here advising you as you know you can change uh, your life path you can change your decisions and I, that's why i love cards and tarot because they're just guiding you um, in order for you to make the right decisions for yourself okay in the month of may you have memories of love so you could be tested here someone from the past could come your way and give you a little bit of um, hope or false hope or what i see here is maybe if you are not aligned anymore or if you feel like not grounded you may go back again into a past memories of love or like uh, yeah clinging into the past and not letting everything uh, go like old memories resurfacing for you and this might actually disturb you a little and for some of you i'm hearing that you will need to um, make a choice between two people one from the past and this new person that you have met if it is uh, related to um your love life okay so anyways what i see here is coming just after that in the month of june yeah in the month of june you have hope i love this card you see the golden light it's the sun i am i i honestly i feel i vibrate when i see golden color i love it and you see it's full of hope and full of there is an angel in the middle I don't know if you can see it in the middle of the golden light it feels like you're guided you're supported by your angels the light is going to shine just on top of you and it is going to show you the way just keep faith because the universe is going to show you who's good and who's not for you okay and they are going to test you but they are also going to help you into making the best decision for yourself so whatever it is you're going to be going through in the month of june keep faith and i feel like it's a lot to do with your love life a lot of emotions okay let me see the energy of the trimester it's again the dream <laughs> incredible the six of cups exactly the same card as the memories of love so yeah that's a, a very strong message perhaps a, par a past lover coming into you or you again or you dreaming about the past or clinging into the past thinking that you can't find anything like the past or perhaps a person from the past is going to know that you are meeting somebody new and they're coming back uh, full gear at you but i don't see uh, this as a as a negative energy not at all because here you have the hope and it's one of the most beautiful cards if, if it's not the most beautiful card of the deck so there is definitely hope when it comes to either memories of the past so whatever is good for you is going to come your way if your past lover is good for you it is going to come and you are going to be reunited 
otherwise then you are or perhaps this is the alliance or partnership with an old, old person or old lover or relationship that you had from the past that is coming back to you but whatever it is in the month of july i see you moving on either from a person or moving on from uh, emotional turmoils or emotional situation you've been going through and this is the six of uh, swords in the traditional tarot deck also moving moving on to uh, calmer waters leaving the the dead leaves behind you and you see this dark energy and going again through the light towards the light and through the light maybe you never know <laughs> i feel for you if i said that that means that some of you are going to be um awakened spiritually if you're going through the light yes and here you have brand new green leaves it, it means like very fruitful brand new beginning for you some of you are going to be leaving in a past lover some of you are going to separate or divorce even but i see a lot of positive outcome here with the hope card from before in the month of september sorry august you have balance and balance represents justice and it's a, again a major arcana and the message here i have for you is please have faith because justice is going to be served if you look at this card you have the um, angel over here and that has the four uh, tools with the four elements and you are going to be served fairly you are going to be guided in order to make the best decisions and again i hear be honest please do not take advantage of anything because karma is going to come back at you if you take advantage of anyone or any situation okay so be honest within yourself go from the heart if there is any painful situation just live it up to the universe and ask for help because you are guided with this angel over here you are going to be rising up okay what do you mean by rising up oh look at this card here it feels like they're elevating as well levitating rising up okay so i feel like it is going to be on your favor this is what they mean here everything is going to be keep hope okay keep faith keep hope because everything is going to be happening on your favor justice is going to be served on your favor great 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 here you have in the month of september patience so please be patient everything is going to be served on your favor but please be patient because here you will need to give yourself give yourself the time the love nurture and love yourself because you are going to need you during this time whatever you are going to to move on from you need to give uh, a little bit time to yourself and love and nurture yourself because look you're planting the seeds within and things are blossoming as i told you here things are blossoming i feel like while you are going to be patient um things are um going to happen magically for you i'm curious to know what this card is about oh wow <laughs> look at the energy of the trimester here you have stress and it's the seven of ones so you may be stressing out about the results of whatever it is you are going um through but here it says patience don't stress because being patient you are going to make magical things you are going to grow you are going to be fruitful so if it's taken longer than what you have expected any situation that is taking longer than you, what you want don't stress about it know that you're divinely guided with this angel of the uh, balance card the justice just before this one and yes there are changes but be patient to see the rewards okay because you are going to have faith and and believe in this and don't stress okay take one step at a time and things are going to be um clarified for you october you have closure universe 
and it is the card 21 it is the world card it's a closure of a, a cycle an opening of a new one a brand new beginning god I hear success I keep on hearing success brand new beginning whatever you're going through into the previous trimester know that it is over and you have a brand new beginning coming to you look at all the stars in this card and I don't know I see the face of this woman and she's all like peaceful rested letting the universe offer her what it is good for her so as I told you being patient will actually really really be very helpful for you if you just let the universe do its work okay amazing november you have material harvest wow so exactly i told you you know the universe will be serving you everything on a silver play platter and there it comes for you it is the nine of pentacles and you are going to be really really fulfilled happy within um i feel like it has to do with um could be two things could be um career or could be emotional could be both as well okay so there is a material harvest here you have worked so hard letting go and moving on from whatever is not serving you and now it's time for you to um you know have all of this just for you and again look at the wisdom you have gained here yeah and the maturity in the month of december you have material and spiritual prosperity so material harvest material and spiritual prosperity for some of you as i told you with this universe card you are going to be awakened spiritually and look at here you have prosperity and it's the six of pentacles it's something that's coming back to balance here you are going to zoom out and look at your life and say oh my god look at how much i have achieved this year it's going to be a very successful year for um, most of you scorpio very successful and blissful year okay so here is the energy of the trimester it says clinging into the past but what i feel here with this universe is going to make to put an end to the past and that's why you're moving forward you are no longer going to cling into the past because you are moving forward with the universe card it's a closure to the past and it feels like the past is a draining energy to you this is the way i see it as soon as you are going to let go of this past things are going to start happening into your life okay in a more fruitful way so beautiful spread beautiful spread for you scorpio 